Warning. A very good friend of mine told me something the other day. I'd like to pass it on to you because I believe that what he said to be true. He said, we're here for a good time, not a long time. So have a good time. The sun can't shine every day. If you do not find this video entertaining, then you are taking life way too seriously. If you have a complaint about any episode, please book an appointment with the therapist. Cheers, dudes. That's dude. And that's dude. And I'm Whoa. the Fishman Carp. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Fishman Carp. And where are we? Well, welcome to Lazy, Lazy Boys. Boys Night. Yeah, but what is it? It's, it's after busy. hours. No. no. It's, sorry. It's, oh it's, my God. I'm it's, sorry. I'm do, I've had too many of these. It's okay, Lazy just, Boys. You don't even that. know what you're doing. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? I believe it's an all beer inside Lazy Boy Nights crossover there event. There we go. There it's we a go. crossover <laughs> event and it's a Lazy Boy Top of Mac. All right. Cheers. 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 Or as we say on All Beer Inside, a toss. A toss. A toss. To y'all. Uh, Let's find out. This is something you brought in. It is. Uh, I, I gotta say, it's very, very light in color. It's all, it was almost white when I was pouring it. My goodness, what okay, is this? First so, of all, sorry, Kurt. It's all good. Okay. It's your show, not mine. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> first of all, there's something, there's a tradition we have in the Tabernacle. So first of all, we're gonna ask people to do this thing here that's subscribe. And then right. over there, uh, over here. Like and share. Up, like and share, but for our special guest, we know exactly what you have to do for a special guest. You gotta ring his bell. Ring his bell. Right. So ring his bell. Carb, carb needs you to ring his bell. That's right. Right. I believe and it's notifications. Yeah, it's ringing your bell. Yeah. So watch hey, this. You feel a little tingling sensation. You know what's happening. It's an awesome intro. Watch it. Listen, and you'll see us very shortly. See you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Guys talking, saying anything, nothing new to say, talking anyway, stop yammering, can't hear a thing, nothing I can do, so let's have one more brew, one more brew, let's have one more brew, one more brew, stop talking, try listening, try anything, try whistling, there you go again, saying anything, nothing I can do. So let's have one more brew. One more brew. Let's have one more brew. One more brew. Alright, let's try this out. Alright. Well, so this, so beer, this beer, gentlemen, is from my favorite brewery in Quebec. My favorite brewery. Uh, oh. Kahnawake Brewing Company. It's uh, just outside of Montreal, just slightly on the South Shore off the Mercier Bridge. It is the first Indigenous owned on a First Nations land brewery in Canada. Wow. And it's called All Right, All Right, All Right Hazy all right, Pale Ale. Right, right. yeah. And I love that the can, please describe the can for us because this I mean, is beyond description. We basically got a White, more white trash version of Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> you ever see Dazed and Confused? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. This is, yeah, like you said, white trash yeah. Matthew McConaughey. And then in the background, if you look, here it is uh, the Black Bridge, which is the train bridge through Kahnawake, which uh, for those who aren't aware, uh, the First Nations people actually built most of the bridges in Quebec. So that's, uh, that's an homage to them. That's awesome. Thank you yeah, so much. It is for awesome. And it is quite, it, like I said, it's very pale in color. Yeah. It's a pale, super hazy. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, but it's it's very, you know. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah, it's coming in at 52.2%. It's what is flat. Uh, you guys mentioned, like, you know, on, on our recording when that comes out, is the, the regulars and the seasonals. Well, yeah. this is one of his flagships. This yeah. is one of his main beers. It's this, the bridge, and a few others. I, f I find so. it's a little on the, the dry side. But uh, nonetheless, when, when the flavor hits your tongue, when, when the beer hits your tongue, it's very flavorful and then it fades quickly, which makes you want to take another sip. Yes. Is, is, what, is what happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is one of those beers that you grab in a flight and then you go, I'm going to have a pint or two of these. Yeah. I mean, as I say all the time, enjoy responsibly. Make sure you have a designated driver. Oh. Never drink a drive. Yeah. But, uh, but when I, you can, have a bunch of these. I, I would see this like sitting on the patio. Uh, just pounding them away yeah. during the hot yeah. summer day. This is oh, yeah. where I go when you see it here. Yeah. Bring it. Oh, yeah. Sir, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah waiter, so, one more please. Speaking yeah. of Kahnawake Brewing, he's got beer glasses where there's a line right here and it says oh, panic no line. Way. Are you serious? <laughs> That's oh, awesome. the man knows I his love it. product. Oh, so, holy shit, I want one of those. So, That's uh, awesome. awesome. I mean, Drew from Kahnawake Brewing. Uh, hey, I cheers suggest, to you. I suggest the lazy boys get their lazy asses out to Kahnawake yeah. Brewing at some point. Because we are lazy. So, we are going to have to do it. Yeah. But yeah, definitely that would be fantastic. All right. So, uh, what, what are we doing tonight? So, okay, we're, we were so happy to have you over. Appreciate this that. This is awesome. In that excitement, I forgot to set up the crappy bowl. Dude! So, oh. we're, so we're gonna do one of the things that we're very famous for. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna snap it in. So, put your put your beer up, okay? I gotta put my beer. Put, yeah, yeah. So just put your hands out. All right. Okay. Wait for it, and yeah. we're gonna snap it over. Oh, it's not the macarena. No, no, no! no. Don't do okay, that because you'll yeah. just drop the crappy bowl. Uh, right. The crappy bowl is gonna. Be, what are you doing? You're not gonna get the crappy bowl. He's getting <laughs> the crappy <laughs> bowl. No. He's getting the crappy bowl. All right. So one. No, you, you, you can. No, no, I just keep it. Yeah, it's gonna yeah, appear yeah, in your hand. Right there. Right. I know it's fun. It's it's a lazy okay. stab on that so, magic. Okay, so. Now, yeah. am I going to do like uh, Evil Dead? I'm going to go claw to, but uh, actually, oh, I what you got to do is wait for the snap. Yeah, right, I'm going to just wait for the snap. I'm going to snap. So here we go. And then I think. I'm going to snap. It's there. It's going to appear gonna be that there. moment. Okay? It's going to be there. One, two, three. Hey! Ah! See? Ah! Dark magic! Going? Dark magic! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Things are That's just supposed to appear, man. He's a wizard. Uh, Hell yeah. All right. It's, it's okay. Lord Volda dude. So what we'll do is you can pick. If you yep. don't want to read, I suggest you just hand it over to the right of you. Yeah. So he yeah. loves to read. I do. He actually Literacy, does. yay! I, I've got the bowl from you. Let's see oh, what we got you here. You actually want to read it? Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. What? If you got a tattoo, <laughs> what would it be and why or sexiest tattoo you've ever seen from Sylvie? Oh! oh! All right, thank you, Sylvie. Does it say where Sylvie's from? <laughs> no, it just says Sylvie. It just says Sylvie. Sylvie. Just says Sylvie. So if you got a tattoo, you what go. would it be? Or thank you, sir. And why? Or a sexy tattoo you ever? Well, I already have a tattoo, and I know so do you. But first, up, let's ask our guest. Do you have a tattoo? I do have a tattoo. I got it when I was sixteen. Oh! Uh, my uncle at my sister. So my uncle. I have a sister. Mm -hmm. uh, at my sister's wedding, my uncle, who was intoxicated at the time, said. Hey, Carp, if Every you want uncle to... at a wedding is exactly. intoxicated. <laughs> if you want to get a tattoo, I will pay for it if you don't cry like a little girl. Uh, he actually said worse words, but... Yeah, yeah let's go PG. with that. We're good with that. Um, so I got a small little dragon when I was 16, right here. Uh, very small, super petite, and I have hairy arms, so it's mostly covered up. Uh, so that yeah. was on a dare? Uh, no, it was a... Uh, I always wanted a dragon tattoo. I was okay. a big d, &D nerd back yeah, in the yeah. day. I'm still a nerd. It's you just, know what? D&D &D is fun. I like yeah. Yeah. beer and D&D. &D. Have you so, tried that? No. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. My beer first... and D, &D. I mean... He's just remembering now. Like, oh, well, <laughs> shit. I already it, did that. It actually <laughs> comes along to the time that, like, the first time I got intoxicated was drinking beer and playing Dungeons and Dragons with a friend. When I was 16 oh, and he got a tattoo. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good but, uh, D &D I only encourage if you're in Quebec to drink at 18 and in Ontario at 19 and in America 21. Yeah. Uh, because <laughs> drinking underage is totally not awesome. I mean, cool. Totally not cool to do. Uh, unless you're a 21 year old American, come on over to Quebec. You got yeah, three extra years to drink. There exactly. you go. Just cross yeah. over. All right. And dude, you you already so let's talk about the tattoos we have and the coolest we've ever seen because we already got. That's not the question. You're not the one. I know, but we decide it, it said, Christ, the question. It, it said if you could get one, would you get? We already so, have yeah, one. Yeah, but I, it doesn't matter. If it's I could get another one, got, okay, exactly. That's if a question. If I could get another one, I am a very proud Canadian boy. Oh. I would probably get the maple leaf on the back of my oh, calf. Oh, oh. What? What? Oh, 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 oh. The maple so, leaf. Yeah. I would get the Canadian maple leaf, not the Toronto maple leaf. That's gross. I'm not stripping down. So. <laughs> You're freaking weirding me out, man. So I'm, I'm doing this because dude has a maple leaf tattoo on him. Yeah, so I have some, and then the thing is, is I don't want to go over what I already have. <laughs> okay, but he's got a maple leaf one, as I'm saying. Yeah, you see, same. Yeah. I'm a very proud Canadian, and I have a maple leaf, and I have uh, the coat of arms of my family that's been here for, you know, over almost 500 years now. So, all that being said, I also have dragons, by the way. No. <laughs> so we have that in common. Um, to me, for me, I want to talk about 
sexiest tattoo we've ever seen. Oh, well, let's finish the uh, ones that we get. You don't want to go to sexy. Tattoos. What the hell? What's wrong with you? Because then we have to leave from sexy uh, back to normal and okay, then back so to sexy. If you have to have another one, okay, I'm assuming somebody's paying for it. Let's yeah. go with that. Let's pretend. Santa Claus is paying sorry, for it. Santa Claus is paying for your new tattoo. Any size, anywhere, anything. What would that be? Is that where we're going? Yes. Okay, fair enough. You've obviously already thought about All it. Right, well, let's I I, I've already got one. in your eyes. I, I've already got one that I've, I've had. Um, when I was a kid growing up, the first movie I ever saw in theaters was Superman the movie with Christopher Reeves. It had a huge impact on me. And we got the Superman S on my shoulder blade. If and it has getting... Richard Pryor on the I other shoulder not. blade <laughs> for Superman... Three? No. He has Richard Pryor's no. face. So I mean, he's, no. got, he's got the terrible machine that yeah. absorbs what's her exactly. name. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. And, and he's but, got the but, one with the, the big, huge bag carrying all the nukes towards the sun. He's got that. Yeah. His whole Talk back. The good his movies, whole, not the bad his movies. His whole back is just like <laughs> nukes going to the, right. towards the sun. So I got I got the Superman ass on my shoulder blade. If I were to get a new one, honestly. Bizarro S on the other no, side. No. I get the Lazy Boys logo. Oh, you know what? That's oh, commitment. Shit. That's okay. commitment to the I would get the what? Lazy Boys logo yeah. right here. Listen. Because I've got the la I've got the Superman S on my shoulder right here. I get the Lazy Boys right here. Folks, right now, live on this fine Therapy Thursday, if we get a thousand subscribers. I will do it. New. I'm, new subscribers. New subscribers. Not new total. <laughs> No, total, total, oh, total, okay. total. 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 We hit a thousand total subscribers. I will get the Lazy Boys tattoo, and we will film. We will it do live. it together. We will both yeah. go yeah. to a tattoo right parlor now, I'm telling you live. and get the Lazy Boys tattoo. Yeah, that's that's because that's the one I get next. Yeah, absolutely, without See? a doubt, that's the one for me. A thousand total subscribers. The day we hit the one zero, we're zero, hitting the tattoo parlor. One dude zero, dude. zero zero that day. We're getting the Lazy Boys logo tattooed on. And so is he. <laughs> I'm getting a Lazy Boys one. I don't mean, do I don't want, I don't mind shameless promotion, but I mean, come on. Well, no, uh, we'll pay I for. Mean, what would you get we'll pay for if it. you actually got uh, something new? If I got something, I mean, there's so much. Like, I'm, I'm a nerd about like everything. I'm a nerd about craft beer, Star Wars. Uh, back in the this day, like old spirits. school, old school, like you know, medieval stuff and. It's just there's so much selection that the fact that I, well, first of all, I am basically Chewbacca under my t-shirt below. So, that, the problem is getting those tattoos are just covered up my body hair, which sucks ass. So, um, yeah. if I could like somehow miraculously... Your first one, your first instinct would be, okay, I'm going out, this is... A, regardless, I, so, if you're going like for a total sleeve, what would be the first thing? If you're going total back... First thing, or you just want to add on so to what you have. So, I am, I mean, you guys are coming off your horror movie episode not too long yeah. ago. Yeah. I am a horror movie fanatic, so Ooh. I would get the the big, like, five or six sleeve. I would have Jason, Freddy, Scream. Oh, all the classic. Oh, Pinhead, oh, Billy the yeah, Puppet, yeah. Pinhead, and I would just get a full sleeve of that. Chucky. And the thing is, I have like, never seen that before. I've, I've, I've attended horror cons, and I've seen full sleeves of them really? all. Really? Yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah. interesting. I'd like to see that. It, it would be great. It's. Uh, I'm willing to chip in fifty bucks to that yeah. tattoo. Yeah, that is something you can break. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at thousands of dollars, but <laughs> yes, but, you know, you guys were also that question is sexiest tattoo is okay. Uh, there's, sexiest. there's an Instagrammer I follow, and she actually has the scarification tattoos, where it's scars and not like actual tattoo, and it's like that is. Which to is me, sexy. that's yeah. Oh, she's. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't, so, I don't find scars can, sexy. Okay, do me a favor. We're done. Talk to dude, and he'll he'll put it down like right yeah. now. Dude, yeah. quick type. Do the, the yeah. quick type shit, and put down who this is, and put down. Hey, you know what? Put an image. Do that yeah. right now. Sweet. All Thank right. You. So her Instagram handle is Doomer Gal. Okay. And uh, she's like a a black metal chick, and she's got like the scarification. I'm just like uh, she's so pretty. You know, I follow. I I'm a single male i follow yeah. thirst traps online it's yeah, that yeah. simple so and to me she's one of the hottest ones who 
Damn. Also lives in the same city as me, so it's there just you like, go. Uh, I love so you. So maybe you could. No, I love you. Your one day. I'm trying my best not to stalk you. I swear. But... <laughs> so, so, so I'm so, doing my best. Yeah, so, 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 so much effort now. Don't recommend this episode to her because she'll see. I don't know. I'm totally going to recommend. Yeah, I'm going to invite her on your show someday. Totally, totally, and let her know. She needs to know, man. All right, dude. Sexiest tattoo for you. Sexiest tattoo is um. It was at a resort in Mexico, and this girl uh, came out of the water, bikini on, from the front, L looked like a model. It was just un like mm -hmm. unreal. And I was looking around to make sure that there wasn't a dude like three times my size, like hulking <laughs> out and going, oh. so, so trying not to, and I wanted to be not that douchebaggy kind of older uh, whatever you know it's, yeah, yeah. i didn't want to look disgusting you don't want to look like that exactly. you don't want to look like that who thinks he's still got it with the kids yeah. exactly so so i didn't want to be the creep but when she walked out you just that image right the classic image coming out of the water it's like a james bond movie so she walked out and she was already unbelievably attractive perfect bikini everything and she turned around to talk to her friends that were still in the water and she had a full back tattoo that you couldn't, there was nothing else in front. But when she turned around and the, just the way it was done and it just, it dropped, like, the tattoo dropped into <laughs> the lower part of her bikini. So you didn't know where it actually finished, but I imagine because it was so small that it like it tapered off just over the crack and it just, it blew my mind. I was like, oh, this is quite possibly the most beautiful moment. Fictitious. It didn't even feel real. But she was super attractive. She didn't have tattoos anywhere else but her back. And the tattoo and the, the quality of it all was phenomenal. And she was just talking. So it was, she was in front of me. I had no choice. I, had, I would have looked dumber looking elsewhere trying to figure out... <laughs> Oh, the sun is out today. Oh my God, there's a Look at that, what are the odds? So, just standing right there, and I had that view, and then when she was done, she moved away, and she went to the bar, and I stopped the gaze. I kept on looking in front to pretend that I still was looking at the ocean, and I was like, everything in my body was stopping me from going towards there, because <laughs> I'm like, she's right there, but I'm like, I'm happy with that. I'm content. Yeah. I had an amazing moment. We... Her back and her ass connected with me somehow, so we had that, that connection, and she moved away and no longer was in my life. But that was an amazing moment. And she I was like, flip over, dig a hole in the sand. No, <laughs> I just, I just get up. Get that groove there, huh? All my drinks. The rest of the day was like, <laughs> cerveza, por favor. Por favor. Uh -huh. Si, gracias, amigo. Now, but yeah, yeah that was that, that, was, that sounds that pretty was sexy. An amazing, amazing moment. Uh, and that was the sexiest tattoo I've ever seen in my life. Now, I, uh, I, I do have to say, I have considered a sexy tattoo on myself, first of all. Oh, excuse I, me. I was thinking, I was thinking I'd get elephant ears right over on here. No, no. <laughs> Dude, I believe. Dude. He laughed. Dude, he, he's going to spit out the beer. He's laughing so hard. And so is Dude. Production dude oh. fell off his stool. Uh. <laughs> Score of education. But no, honestly, um, but like a baby elephant, though, right? Like <laughs> da, 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 da. baby elephant walk. But um, would it be like Dumbo? Would you get the giant ears coming out? Of the uh, hips I don't know. And... You, know you, want, you want to enhance it, not make it look too small. Yeah. So, oh, hey, dude's coming back. Hang on, he's, <laughs> he's coming back into the dead of neck. I think future episodes you may, might need a spit bucket. We used to. We used to have one. <laughs> it's actually right there. There's yeah, an actual yeah, yeah, yeah. spittoon. Ah, <laughs> so we need to keep the spittoon in front. There's an actual spittoon right here. <laughs> oh man, that I got beer in my nose now. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kleenex? Seriously, I got beer in my nose. Holy frick. Alright, okay, well, I was well, not this. expecting that. <laughs> Holy frick, dude. Well played. So Thank besides you. the self love. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, I'm, I'm a little like dude, but uh, a little more subtle. Um, I can just imagine. <laughs> oh my god, the cake, I gotta stop. There's so many different weird images over there. Oh my uh, head. 
Okay. Oh Ooh. my God, I'm laughing so hard right now. Okay, change it. Um, okay, so so actual sexy, <laughs> actual sexy. Uh, I'm kind of like you, but a little more subtle. Uh, I have a thing about, for some reason, tattoos on the lower back of a woman, I find incredibly sexy. And, the classic uh, tramp stamp. Yeah, but but it depends Hell on yeah. what it is too, because you know it's always a tramp stamp. Doesn't matter. It can still be nice, but a tramp stamp just there, means there was, just continue down the trip there was going this one on woman, visually. There was this one woman. She had um, they, they were little paw marks, like 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 a cat or a tiger or something, and just little. There's a difference between a cat and a tiger. Well, the paw would be a little the paw print cute or like massive coming. Well, they're out not massive. Anywhere. They're a little cute. Okay, so it's like little cat. There's a difference. Cat. I'm just saying there's a difference. Tracks. Just just lower back. Just so something from down. the feline family. Yeah, just something. Exactly. Thank you. Something is just started going down and, and just a little below the panty line, but it's it's leading down there. And for some reason, I I, I personally, I just found that so sexy because it's subtle. Did it come back up at the front? No, it did not come no. back up at the front. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, hmm. But it's just, just these little paw prints going down below the panty line. I found very, very sexy personally. I, to me, I'm uh, for tattoos. To me, less is more. Full <laughs> everywhere. It's just, it's an overload. Uh, it's an overload of, of stimuli because there's so many things going on where it's just a little subtle thing happening. I find that very sexy personally. So, so you guys brought the wrong person on the show for today. <laughs> <laughs> so I've. I've recently discovered, I'm sure it's because of Elvira, that I'm into goth chicks. Oh, that oh I, yeah. I do Santa have Peterson. a yeah. morbid obsession with goth females. There's no question about it with goth girls with bigger bigger boobs. Yeah. That's that's my thing. That's yeah. always been my thing. It's it's crazy. Hey, it's actually, not a bad thing. No. I, 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 <laughs> I actually do have another question uh, oh, for the show yeah. should there be time. I'm going to add on to the crappy bottle. Add on, my friend. Add on. Sexiness. Um... What's the most embarrassing moment that's happened to you while checking out a person of the opposite or if you're into the same sex? Okay, folks, just so you realize, for the first time ever on Lazy Boys, we We're have not an add-on yeah. add question. It's not from the crappy ball. It's not ball. a double dip. It's, it's from the crappy on. guest. Oh, sorry. I mean, the guest. <laughs> so, so, guys, I'll tell you mine. Uh, so, I live in Montreal and okay. we have... An incredible amount of beautiful women in the yes, city of Montreal. I concur. So I was walking down St. Catherine, and I was looking at a girl so much that I actually walked chest first into a parking meter and cracked, <laughs> cracked a rib. Cracked a rib. Cracked a rib. I was. Oh my god! And just like, oh my god, that's the most beautiful. Ugh! Ow! Everything hurts. And my friends obviously hit the ground in laughter, as uh, as behind the scenes dude did before. <laughs> and uh, as much as great as it was, I felt like a complete ass. But I will still live by that. That girl was so absolutely beautiful. What was your reaction? How, how could we possibly tell that story? <laughs> so, oh my god! Did we, like, did you guys like start checking their girl, fall down a set of stairs, or? Uh, I, have a I believe story. you're both. I, have one I believe you're both. Okay, uh, so let's hear yours. Cause, yeah, but yeah. Then, cause seriously, that's hard to top. Here, yeah. crack the rib. Yeah, it walking hurt. into a part of me. It, it hurt for what? for a solid month to play wow. and, and do other stuff. Okay. Thankfully, it was during the winter, so I didn't do a lot. <laughs> so I was in Florida and shopping in uh, one of their super malls and going into one of their uh, high end stores, shopping around, and then this woman walked by, Latina, but. Shoot, everything, oh my god. <laughs> like everything was sprayed on. Like it was actual clothing, but it could have been sprayed so on. So tight, okay. yeah. yeah. So, so form fitting. Form and it fitting. was a nice dress. It wasn't like yoga pants or whatever. It wasn't lazy. I would still appreciate lazy, but I'm just saying it was a nice dress. Yeah, it's a lazy like, for, I mean, for the kind of store, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was like half, half uh, thigh. Anyways, just amazing, right? So came off the, 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 the mountain. Uh, Zeus banned her and sent her to earth kind of thing as she walks by my head just and I, I couldn't believe it is this is this actually happening is this for real and as I turn back I have a huge black dude <laughs> towering over me looking down at me going so do you like my wife <laughs> and I'm going oh I get and my first instinct going, 
man, you can, there's two ways you can do this. Cower and just, no, sorry, sir. Or live up to what you just did and go, man, your wife is awesome. I said, I'm sorry, no disrespect, but you have an amazing looking wife. He goes, I'm just f***ing with you. That's not even my <laughs> wife. I've been checking her out too. So he's been checking her out too, but he just set me up because he watched me watching oh, her. That's and funny. Like, oh, I said, are you kidding me right that's now? That's awesome. That's awesome. Like, immediately both of us, and we started laughing. It was like the best moment. But both of us appreciated the same woman at the same time. But he caught me checking her out. And he stepped up. And that was that's the kind of joke I would have pulled on somebody. And because he did it to me, I was like, oh, well man. Well played, sir. Oh, well played. Fantastic. So fantastic. I will tip my hat, sir. Yes. <laughs> so I, I didn't break a rib or almost get beat up but, by a giant guy. But um, <laughs> back in the late 90s, I used to work at a, the, the chain no longer exists, but there was a, a series of stores called Music World. Because they sold I was record ready for you to albums. Say consumers distributors. No, no, no. Disney World. They sold CDs yeah. and, and VHS movies because DVDs. Don't explain. You know what VHS is. Anyway. Don't stop explaining that. Um, you explain and it at one point, wow. I'm oh, um, I'm not at cash that day. I'm on the floor and I'm near the front end of the store and I'm up at a client, which is an not an elderly lady, but an older lady, like 50, 50 plus. Would you call her a milf? No. Oh. Yeah, she's not what I'm talking about. Damn man! In the hallway, in the hallway, walking across the front of the store, I'd never seen any, anything like this before. And and I think the closest thing would be, and I'm gonna be total geek out now. I'm gonna say it's Storm from the X-Men. This incredibly beautiful. Hey, dude! Please put put it not put a proper image of Storm. From the comic books. Actually, so, so, so there's, wait. hold on, there's this female pro wrestler called Jade Cargill. Okay. And she's a bit of a nerd, and she's an extremely athletic uh, black female. And? and she actually dressed up as Storm What's for her a comic con. Jade Cargill. Okay, now. Uh, and there is a picture of her dressed up as Storm. So, so, so thank anyways, you. <laughs> this woman, she's, she's in, a, in a smart, well-tailored business suit, but for women. So, like, skirt, jacket, but all this... But like like beautiful dark ebony skin, white, shocking so, white long space hair. Right now. He's so into it. Oh, it's, it's, seriously, it's <laughs> not been having, back in his day. It's been almost thirty yeah, years. It's, 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 it's been twenty-five. On the show, that'd be great. It's been twenty-five uh, to thirty it's, years. It's, 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 I know, I know, I know. It's, it's my fault. If you guys get boners, it's my fault. It's a hundred percent your fault. This this beautiful dark. Even to, like like ebony beautiful ebony goddess with shocking white hair, and I'm sure there were contact lenses because this is not. Natural. I don't know what your porn hub looks like, but it sounds so interesting right now. I'm sure there were contact lenses because this is not natural. But like crystal blue eyes, nice. And she's Damn. walking by, and I'm I'm helping this this other woman, and I see her walk by, and I just stop talking to the other woman. You and put your like, hand in her face and push her <laughs> off to the side. No, but but I literally stopped. <laughs> And watch, watch this woman walk by the front of the store. Yeah. Until I'm, I'm like lost in a haze. Till this other woman's like, "Excuse me," and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so it's a little embarrassing. Did you hear like, Roy Orbison, pretty woman. <laughs> oh, this is beyond pretty down woman. Down she... This 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 was beyond pretty woman. Yeah, this but you was, still this hear was the like. Soundtrack. The soundtrack is the music to your life. Soundtrack. It, it was more like a, you remember uh, Wayne's World. <laughs> oh no, no, uh, no, no I believe it's. Oh, it's foxy lady, yeah. Either way, it was it was it was just so exotically beautiful beyond words. I I can still say to the well, you can see the impact it's had on me. It's been almost thirty years, and nonetheless, I'm like, holy crap! I've never seen. I have someone... never heard this story before. I've told you this story. No, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I remember I've like never, seen, I, I've never come across someone so stunningly beautiful in real life that it left me like stop mid sentence and just gaze, yeah. and then have to be brought back like to I reality. Said, walked into a parking meter, there and you cracked go. a rib, because that's how beautiful this woman is. So what? Yeah, there you uh, go. Anyways. All that from a tattoo question. All that from a tattoo question. There That's you go, Sylvie. You know, you guys never. Anyways, 
you guys Before never we had the, the guest propose an additional question on that? Yeah, you never have. first awesome. That's, that's why, question, Jerry. That's why Carp from All Your Inside is here tonight. <laughs> So, so Carp, before we sign off, could you please tell us where we can see you? Yes. So, you could follow my show, allbeerinside.com is the website, at allbeerinside on all social media, youtube.com slash allbeerinside, and as I say at the end of all of my episodes, drink crap, not crap. Thank you, and just so you, all of you are fully aware... Dude and I are actual legitimate fans of Carp. We subscribe, we're big fans. We're subscribers. So if you subscribe to us, share the love, right? Sharing is caring. Go check out what Carp does. It's completely different from us, but we have one thing in common is just to be able to appreciate a good and beer. be able to showcase. <laughs> he appreciated so that one a lot. Man, but just to be able to showcase <laughs> our craft brewers, our micro brasserie, right? Across, uh, you know, Ontario, Quebec, and everywhere else in Canada, I and in northern, you know, if there's, uh, you went for a trip as well. Northern in, U.S., he uh, does too. Yes. Look, the, so. the way I see it is, whatever state or province or yeah. wherever you are is, you can support yeah. a local company. Exactly. So, so enjoy. So we'll see you next time. Thanks see for tuning in. See you next Thursday. In. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I already drank all my. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>